Anita are here. I'm Anita from Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly from My Soulful Home. We have tips and tricks and decorating advice for you. So let's get started. Today is episode 12, Decorating Books We Love and How to Use Them. And I know we all have tons and tons of decorating books oh, cluttering man. our bookshelves and um, on the floor next to our favorite chair. And today we're going to talk about the ones that we love. Are you ready, girls? Oh, yes. Yeah, Are you kidding me? <laughs> I do want to start off with a little story, and this was decades ago. My children were just babies, and the very first decorating book that I remember getting was Martha Stewart's book called Gardening Month by Month, and I loved this book, and this is when I was into, you know, I had a big garden in my backyard and was growing tons of vegetables and I got into this French this raised French beds and all of these things so Martha Stewart was doing a presentation about a couple hours from where I lived and I wasn't really good at leaving my babies because I had two little kids um uh, sort of very close so I can my husband convinced me I'll be fine with them and and so off my mom and I went and I took my gardening month by month and uh, we had a lovely, it, but then it was a slideshow series. Oh. So we saw, I mean, I'm telling you, this is when my kids were really tiny. We saw a slideshow series. It was awesome. I mean, it was packed with women and I had my gardening book with me and it was so awesome. And we had a lunch and then she was signing. She was signing books. So I stood in this like ridiculously long line and I was like one of the last people before she had to leave to catch her plane and like my palms were sweaty oh. and I was a little shaky I was so starstruck and I put the book down and I said you have influenced me so much you know what I this little meek Whoa. voice and that was my very first experience with with the decorating book and I mean but and I still love it and I still use it it's all just like all torn apart and you know um very very well loved but I know that we now have I, I have oh gosh dozens and dozens of decorating books old and new that I just love how about you who wants to start well, I off need to with know was first... Martha nice or not nice um yeah she was nice she was nice to me I mean you know she well, had a big line nice of people you, so by the time <laughs> I got there I was just another one in the long line of people but she was she smiled and wrote something very lovely and and okay. I went on my way hugging my book so happy you know oh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. So well, let's she's... talk about yeah. maybe some newer decorating books now. <laughs> well, my favorite has been out for a couple of years. One of my favorites uh, is Patina Style by Brooke and Steve Gianetti. And yes. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. I, it it's, was really a big influence on me in my style. And the her study, I guess it's her study, there's a picture of a desk with a hutch behind it. You've probably seen it with the white books and some, I don't know, dried flowers on the top. And I found that picture on Pinterest and I stared at that for hours and hours, breaking apart every little element and, you know, kind of figuring out how can I create something like that of beauty that's my own, but kind mm -hmm. of, you know, similar in style um, in my own home because we were building um, that the house that we live in now. So. She certainly mm -hmm. was a huge influence on me, um, and it just, I, it, the, the book has all these beautiful, incredible, as, as the name might imply, patina, the book is full of beautiful pieces of furniture with an incredible patina, layers of mm -hmm. paint worn away by time, a lot of old finishes, and I think this is something for you to look at if you're going to be distressing furniture you really want to look at it's kind of like what Yvonne said about if you're if you're learning to paint you start with copying the old masters mm -hmm. if you're look if you're wanting to distress a piece of furniture you really need to know what an antique piece of furniture looks mm -hmm. like for real because some oh, of the distressing point. some of the distressing I see is really not realistic looking it looks like it's been faked 
TJ Maxx, distressing. Yes. <laughs> I like to think of it. Although we love TJ Maxx. Yeah. We do love TJ Maxx, but th- mm-hmm. they're not selling real antiques, right? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know. That's right. <laughs> so that's what I loved about this book is that it had real old patinas. So when I, I can look at that and say, if I can create a finish that looks like that, then it looks like the real deal. And that's mm. one of the things I love the most about it. Now, Anita, I don't have that book, Patina mm-hmm. Style. Is that um, based on their home in Santa Monica? Well, it was before they built the Patina Farm. Which was I mean, a segue the- into my book. Oh, yes, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> well, I also love Brooke and Steve Giannetti. Um, from a distance, I would like to, to love them up close. They don't live too far away from me, but they they did. Um, Steve is a renowned architect, and Brooke being an interior designer, and they mm-hmm. have brought their forces together. And they, what a combination! They, I know yes. it's yes. beautiful, mm-hmm. and they they have um, not only patina style, which Anita has and has enjoyed. Uh, they also have Patina Farm, which mm-hmm. is a book that came out not too long ago. Yes. And and um, this is about a home in Ojai that they oh, created. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what I love about their their style overall is that it's very authentic. They love to use old um, pieces, obviously with patina, but statement pieces. But what they they bring in so many natural elements. And when they were creating this home, they took into account the placement on the piece of property, Mm -hmm. where the trees were that they wanted to preserve, and um, Mm. the way the light would come in. And it it just, uh, using those elements just makes the home absolutely spectacular. It's an amazing piece of property. Oh, yes. And I I know uh, next time I'm in Ojai, you know, I will be driving back and forth and front because I, <laughs> they, they have sort of a rendering of it and you can like see you back can and forth of, ac- over the, in front so of the house we're gonna, on yeah, the road. That's where I will be, right? Oh, we well, call well, that we'll stalking. Now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like to call it admiring. Okay. But, you know, you know, uh, Kelly, uh, I want to meet their this, little donkeys. <laughs> the fall issue of Country French Magazine from 2016. I featured, know this. <laughs> yes, featured the uh, the Giannettis and myself and <gasps> Annie Sloan as their favorite style maker. So mm. you know, I was in the same magazine with them. Absolutely brilliant. In very good company. Yes, you're not rubbing shoulders, you're rubbing pages together. So I think (laughs) Mm -hmm. that, you know, just knowing that and the way I know you, I'm one step closer to knowing them today. (laughs) (laughs) Like, yeah, one, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm like Kevin Bacon. I'm like, you know, what is it, six degrees? degrees? (laughs) We've narrowed it. It's not like I'm like four degrees Yeah, I'm not sure our pages are rubbing, but they're in the same magazine. (laughs) (laughs) Well, uh, the book is fabulous. I would suggest it to anyone um i think that even if you don't want to have their style per se learning how they created their home uh is is something that you can translate into any type of decor it's very Mm -hmm. um it's very rustic it's very uh, clean and, mm-hmm. and sort of California, um, the inside meets the outside, and very it's all European. Mm-hmm. I would say yes, and it is definitely European looking. Absolutely, you know, lots mm-hmm. of European influences. In mm-hmm. fact, his family has some sort of. Um, uh, it's not. Uh, they do sort of carvings and, and moldings and plaster works. I think that's what his oh. family had done. So they have pieces of that all over the place. So obviously they're sort of entrenched in this handmade um, earthen type look. And it carries through to everything that's going on in this house. I mm. just love it. Um, I have a kind of a little funny story. I got the book because I picked it out for myself for Christmas and I sent my husband the Amazon link and told him to buy it for me. <laughs> Who hasn't done that? Right? My kind of girl. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you can to have it done for you, get to make it happen. Um, do you girls want to mention um, Brooke's uh, blog? Oh, yes. She has a blog called uh, Velvet and Linen. And uh, again, it's beautiful and it's uh, I think now, for the most part, about the Patina Farm because mm-hmm. they've they've left Santa Monica and they moved there and they live there full time. So it is stunning, mm-hmm. and I, you know, definitely one you might want to go check out and subscribe to. And she doesn't blog that much, but you know, when I see something in my inbox, I get really excited to have a mm-hmm. look. It's beautiful. 
Um, I have a uh, one of my new favorites. It's by another blogger, um, Liz Forrest, who has Love Grows Wild. That's the blog. And the name of her book is A Touch of Farmhouse Charm. Mm. I've seen that around and it looks really great. It, I, I, it I is, think I should pick it up. It's a beautiful book. It's a soft cover book. And I love this. There's something about the size of it. It's like eight inches wide and it's a little, and it's not quite as long. And it's just an, I just love the feel of this mm. book. Very beautifully written. And she goes through her house, which is stunning, stunning, stunning. Very light, very fresh, very... Um, sort of a modern take on a farmhouse but lots and lots and lots of chippy charm (laughs) Mm -hmm. and she also gives you very easy DIY projects that are that are very um, farm and farm influenced there it's a beautiful beautiful book she has her family in there which is so sweet and she goes through all of her house so it's a charming book and there's lots and lots and lots of easy diys so that's a new favorite of mine it inspires me because i just love the way the pictures were taken Mm -hmm. they're just taken so beautiful yeah they're just light and Mm -hmm. airy and they just look so pretty so um gives me a lot to think about and and think about oh how could I use this in my house Mm -hmm. so I really do like this book so I highly recommend it yeah I think that's fun with a book where it's actually giving you something to create or a tutorial um, Mm -hmm. rather than just looking at the pictures Mm -hmm. and getting the style Uh, I think Patina Farm has a little bit of both because they give you a lot of detailed information about how they laid it all out but of course you know not everybody's just going to go scoop up you know five acres somewhere (laughs) and be able to lay out a farm and I love this because a totally different style from Bettina Farm, but just as beautiful. And oh, it's, yes. yeah, yeah. And she, I just love her use of light colors and whites and how she mixes that in with such a beautiful patina. It's a really nice read. And also it's a, um, also a book you can use as a reference book, a DIY book. These would make lovely things for your house or great gifts. So it's a, it's a really fun book. Well, and I agree. I mean, there's so many different ways you can use home decor books, and there's so many different types. So you some- mean other than you um, using them as risers and <laughs> covering them in burlap? Stack them high. I hope my book is not covered in burlap. In your, your, books, your book, well, we have to talk about it, it okay. eventually, is sit, I have two copies, one sitting in my on my family room um, coffee table, and one is up in my guest room one of my guest good. rooms so oh. yeah it's well loved and well used oh good okay that's yeah but I, I would never cover your book with burlap oh thank <laughs> no, no, no. yeah just be covering no, no. somebody else's with mm-hmm. I don't cover any of my decor or paint, books paint them burlap. white yes yeah, yeah, I yeah that I haven't too. done the covering the books thing or you know then people you know did restoration oh. hardware start there putting the books backwards like yes. I don't get that Okay, I mean, well, I get I it. I do. Like, I like that. Well, keeps... I get it from a stylist perspective. Yeah, but I guess stylist. I'm too much of a book person. Like, duh, how do you know which book is which book? Well, you don't do that with books you're actually reading. I mean, we inherited. <laughs> well, I don't do that no, with my don't. decor well, books. I mean, my decor my... books and cookbooks Listen, are I know, sacred. I just, I just kind of think it's a little silly. I love that. I love you. Yvonne, I, I did know. it. Okay. I don't know. So, Listen, you... I just got reprimanded on my blog today for covering books. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yes, yep. but, you know, and I just said, well, everybody has different tastes, and usually if we have an old book laying around, they think, mm, I mean, we can still read them. Of course. Well, yeah, you know. and I, see, we inherited the entire library of my father in Oh, I knew it was going to be your in laws. What were we going to say, Yvonne? From the mother in law. Yeah, yeah, so my, yeah, well, my father in law was the dean of a seminary, so he has an entire. A collection. I mean, and they're amazing books. And we almost. Ooh, I would love to get my hands on those we books. We almost sold them to a theological library. And Ooh. I've got to tell you, when I. Uh, they ended up saying, well, these some of these are repeats. And you know, I kind of just went down and kissed the box when they kind Aww. of turned them down because yeah. I realized what I'd almost done. And it was yeah. my husband that said, let's, you know, sell them. But. I was so happy when I was loading them back in my car. He said, do you want to donate them? And I was just like, I will be there in five minutes to get them. And Aww. I was so, I'm so happy we kept them. It's like a piece of, of my father-in-law mm-hmm. whom I love dearly. Mm-hmm. And 
it's just I'm really glad we have them but some of them are turned around backwards because I'm not going I, to read some of them because they're in all these different languages so. oh, yeah, I understand I do understand okay. that I'm cool with that I just you know it's just not my thing but I think it looks great yeah. um, okay. and books are smaller than a piano so you can keep them. this is true yeah. oh you'd yes have, that's you'd right. have to get that you'd have to have listened to a previous podcast <laughs> that to get that one. On the, it's sort of an um, inside podcast joke no that was that was the episode on nine things to do to improve yes. your home if you well, want to go know, back and listen to that one but it's With, no mystery if your mother-in-law leaves you a piano and you don't play it yeah eh, you well decor books. <laughs> books. let's go right. back to decor books yes decor, i i now i just read all my books like my pleasure reading books on my i've got one of the big iphone sixes you know they're, they're like half of a tablet size you know and so i read everything for pleasure reading on my iPhone so I'm not buying those books anymore but I buy decorating books because I want to I, I mark them up like I underline things and write mm-hmm. little notes and um, those are just you know precious to me so yeah. I don't and, uh, mm-hmm. yeah so I only have like old books that I'm going to cover paint or turn backwards but uh, my decorating books and my cookbooks they stay like they are Right. Does anybody have another book? Yes, that's what I was going to get to. Is my favorite, one of my favorite books is Charles Faudry's Country French Legacy. Oh yes. And what I wanted to say is, some of these books do have a lot of how-to information, and some of them are really just kind of inspirational pictures. And I think this is one of those books that's inspirational pictures. But I still think the books that don't tell you how to most decorating books. I do not think tell you how to they're mainly inspirational but they're Mm. still very valuable I think Mm. and the thing I like about Charles Faudry is he's really kind of the father of country French design Mm -hmm. in the United States and he actually was in Tulsa which was kind of not the place people thought of as being the you know the mecca of absolutely of interior design (laughs) of of, uh, Mm -hmm. country French but and you being the mother of country French oh there you go (laughs) what I loved about him is I saw his dressing room and he had leopard monogram slippers yes yes I saw the same exact and I just I just instantly fell in love with him I know how can you not love someone like that a man who it wears leopard monogram <laughs> slippers. <laughs> I know, I know. What a, I mean, I, I mean, Bobby's awesome, but I don't think he'd ever do that. <laughs> no. And this book was uh, published uh, posthumously. Did I pronounce that correctly? Um, I believe you did. Posthumously. Yeah. Okay. So after yes, after he, after passed, he away. passed away. Yes. So the legacy. This one is really a compilation of all of his work throughout his lifetime. Mm-hmm. And so this is the one I recommend that you get rather than one of his other ones because it's got a little bit of everything including the mountain house that he designed which um yeah i'm design i'm working on a mountain house right now so Mm -hmm. i am referencing that quite heavily oh my goodness i can't wait to see that when it's (sighs) done or even yeah me too (laughs) what's this gonna look like (laughs) so kelly how about you do you have another one for us well i just wanted to say something else okay about this book and that is that it is very heavy in the um it's it's heavily done i things t- designs have styles have changed since mm-hmm. he wrote it so you may look at it and say it's too much because it was he layered 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 it's layer upon layer upon layer yes. upon like detail 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 but what i want to say is if you are interested in country french design this is a great book for you because you can pull out he also he does not have anything reproduction it's all the original everything mm-hmm. so if you're wanting to add this style to your house uh, I, this is a great book, but just look at it and just kind of do what Yvonne recommended in a previous episode and look at all of his style elements, the textures he used, the colors, the forms, everything in there, and just kind of pull apart the pieces and just kind of see how can you incorporate small mm-hmm. bits of what he did into your home. Inevitably, with the new year come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add DOS to your wellness regime. DOS is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. 
Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.com co slash dtt and use the code dtt that's dose daily dot co dot co slash dtt and use the code dtt green chef is a delicious delight any time of year but especially during the holidays what a wonderful vision to behold of the green chef boxes on your doorstep green chef is the number one meal kit for eating well And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. greenchef.com slash 60DTT And use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Mm. Yeah, that's a beautiful book. Kelly, how about you? Oh, I have always enjoyed Catherine um, Ireland. So Catherine Mm -hmm. M. Ireland, not to Mm -hmm. be confused with the model, or and she does some lamps, but the real designer, Catherine M. Ireland. And one of my favorite books of hers is Creating a Home. And she uh, found this um, very dilapidated Mediterranean home uh, that really needed uh, lots and lots of help. And so I kind of, you know, felt a kinship with her because of what I did here with our house or what I'm in the midst of doing. And it's, it's a wonderful book. She enjoys a lot of color. Um, and I think in this home, she has utilized color in pops. And still there's a lot of neutral um in the the major parts of the house, the house is all white, and there's it's a, a gorgeous home. I've seen it. I mm-hmm. think it is a beautiful home. Some seen... of you probably have seen it. I think it was photographed um, a lot. Yes, um, she, it's been in magazines. I don't know. If she still has it, but she has a home in France too, and this one is in again California. And I'm not all about mm. California, but it just happens to be the two books that I wanted to talk about today mm. are based uh, on homes that are in Ojai, California. We'll forgive you that. Yeah. Well, I have to bring a little little of the other side of the country. Uh, and she goes through in great particularity you know, e- uh, each of the aspects of the house from the mm. inspiration, but there are chapters on hardware. There's chapters on tile. So, you know, it's pretty specific in a way. But again, I think you can, it can, you can translate it into almost any decor. If you just kind of close your eyes and read the words, you could put in any type of decor um, mm-hmm. because she, get, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. she gives you a lot of great design tips and uh, kind of ways like this, to think, uh, think about a room. Kind of like this huh. podcast, Kelly, wouldn't you agree? Because what we say here really is something that applies to so many different design styles. Sure. Oh, I, yeah, I definitely agree. I think that, you know, we're, we're talking not in sweeping generalities, but we're giving you um, jumping points uh, where, you know, and you can take what you have in your house and translate it to using some of the tips that we have mm-hmm. given you. And you um, know what I, I like about our picks? They're all very different. Yeah, except yeah. for they did have books. a little crossover with the Giannettis, but we can't help Yeah, that. other than that, but the yeah. others have been you very different. You can't get different. enough of that, in yeah. my opinion. <laughs> Anita, do you have another book? Well, this is, uh, it's two, but it's uh, Annie Sloan, and the thing I like about her books is that they are very how-to, hands-on, this is how you do it. Yep, and I have I, every single one, and you're right about that. Yeah, so I have the quick and easy paint transformations and mm-hmm. the color recipes for painted furniture. We'll put all these in the show notes so you don't mm-hmm. have to remember mm-hmm. the titles, but uh, great instructions there and beautiful looks, so I think it's they're well worth getting 
her books. And when you go on Amazon, you can see she has quite a few, and you can pick the one that mm-hmm. kind of works for you the best. For the Very projects. nicely written, lots of instructions, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Beautiful um, photos. M- one that I'm really, really crushing on right now is uh, a book by Emily Henderson. She's another blogger. Um, Secrets uh, of From Style. From California. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> Now, don't make me come up with a bunch of Texans here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this st- it's called Styled, and the subtitle is Secret of, of, of um, Arranging Rooms. And I really, I, I, t- I tend to buy books by bloggers. I just think it's mm-hmm. nice to have, you know, well, it's a fun, book especially by if a, a you know the person. Blogger. Like, I know, it. yes, we know a real, another one we're going to talk about in a minute. Um, but, but Emily, I'm, I'm thrilled with this book. It is such a book of substance. And she talks about, she first of all, she gives you a style quiz, which, you know, we all love style quizzes. Yes. And then she breaks it down because she says how important it is to know your style. And then she talks about, you know, decorating costs you tons of money and take so long to actually decorate something. But styling is a can be a real quick fix and really change the look of your room if you just know how to do vignettes style pillows style this style that mm-hmm. style the other and her she now she's one that gives you tons of how to's things to think about um ways so to do so when she things. says styling then it's not just flowers adding some flowers no to it's, to it's house styling mm-hmm and uh, ways to hone details I I just really love and you can read and and relate to what she's talking about she does this like four vignettes to drool over I just Mm -hmm. really enjoy everything she does and she does them in a variety of style her style is very different from mine but I can certainly um, get a lot from it so I highly right. recommend that. And her blog is Hem- Emily Henderson, and we'll have that on the show notes as well. But, you know, we can't leave here without talking about our very favorite book and favorite author. What's that? Anita and Joyce. Kelly, we oh. know who that is. It's Anita Joyce. <laughs> it <Brenda> is Anita. <laughs> Yay. Do you want and to talk honestly, about that a little? I know that's on your list as well as mine. Well, honestly, you guys, and I, when I say you guys, I mean everybody listening, Anita's book is awesome. So we're, this is not just, you know, praising you. in the family or, you know, no. it, patting her on the back because she's one of my BFFs. It's because it's a really, really great book. I um, had Called pleasure, French Accents. French Accents. And mm-hmm. I had the pleasure of um, reviewing the book when it first you came out. You both did. And, I, I and knew so did Anita I. Mm-hmm. Then, but I didn't know her, know her, know her like I know her now. And I'm, oh, you know, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm peeling her onion and I'm getting to know her more and more. <laughs> As, as you guys are getting to know us too, but um, I, I, again, I, I obviously don't sit down enough because it is a big deal to me in my mind when I sit down. So I, <laughs> here I go again. I made a plan to go sit down and I was going to read Anita's book. It's bad when you have to make a plan to sit down, Kelly. I always I have to make a plan to sit down. Okay, there, there was something wrong there. So anyway, I made a plan to sit down. It was kind of that late afternoon. Nobody needed me. I remember it was our, our former house. I sat out on the chase lounge. I was like, wow, this chase lounge is comfy. No wonder people, other people sit here. And I had her book and I think I had some iced tea and it was, you know, the sun was still out and I was reading, I was like, I'll read a couple of chapters and I'm going to go in and make dinner. Well, Peter's shouting out the back door, are we ever going to eat? You know, <laughs> It's dark and I hear the little crickety things, you know, and it's like I'm squinting because I'm reading the last little bits of Anita's book. You I know a book is good if you're sitting out in the dark reading it. I know, and I was sticking post-its all over it because mm-hmm. I wanted to go back. It's a great book. And I recommend it, it to anyone, whether you like French style or you don't like French style, there's so much decorating information there and there is. tangible yep. advice. It's well written and the pictures are gorgeous. And Anita's such a great gal. So I yeah, what, you know, I'm thinking, what can I book? add to this? Because I got the PDF form and she said, Yvonne, would you, you know, <clears throat> write, would you give me a write-up for, for the back of the book? And I said, yeah, sure, I will. Let me read it. So she uh, gave me the f- PDF. And I'm reading this and I'm thinking, this girl can write. You know? oh, thank you. I'm thinking, wow. I mean, it just was so beautifully written. It's ve- a very transporting book. You really feel like you're transported into this whole world of French and French decor and 
but it's very attainable and she writes it so it's attainable and then of course her pictures who can beat her pictures so I was so honored that she asked me because I could actually say and very honestly say you know everybody should get this book because this is just such a beautiful if you love decorating you'll love this book so we highly recommend it here not because she's one of ours um, but because it truly is a very good book Oh, well, you're both yeah. so wonderful. Oh, we, we could go on and on. We could do a whole podcast about this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, which reminds me of something that I'm, two books that I'm extremely excited about that are coming up. So, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. I we gotta, 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 gotta write something. So, <laughs> we could be um, our books. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, I hear mm-hmm. that you got a book deal. <laughs> Yeah, she did. I'm very excited about it. Tell us. Kelly, can you tell us a little bit about it? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I can only tell you a little bit because I've only written a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to come out pretty soon, so I, I need to really go now. <laughs> yeah, I understand. <laughs> go more. But uh, we're going to try to get it out in time for Mother's Day because uh, I think it might be a nice uh, gift. This Mother's Day? Yes. Oh, See, what you don't word. know is that I had to make Kelly talk about her book. Well, Anita's very, she's a very smart lady, and she gives me lots of good advice on, on all sorts of things. And um, my, uh, my personality, and, and I think probably Yvonne's and Anita's personality yes. is more to say, uh, not to say anything like, I'm writing a book, oh yeah, and then everybody be like, oh, you know, where's your book? And you're like, oh, well, I'm still writing my book. You know, I, if I'm going to write a book, then I want to be like, oh, oh, you want to see it? Okay, here it is. I did no, it. I <laughs> talked about it, and I've had so many things happen that it keeps being postponed. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So, just, you know, like anything, you know, oh, I'm going to do that. Well, I, I tend not to say things until after I've done it. Cause, that you know, is a very, that's a good lesson to learn. My dad taught me that early on. Like, Well, you know, I think mm-hmm. in life, that's good not to talk about what you're going to do, show people people what you did but with this book that you're writing about floral design thank I you. want people to know it's coming and I'm very well, excited thank you. about it. You're such it. a good yeah. friend and you're a smart business lady you know I should tell people so they're not like oh yeah wh- what you did a book? <laughs> yeah so it's um the working title is My Soulful Home A Year in Flowers mm-hmm. and it's going to talk to you about floral design uh the how to's the what not to and how to keep your flowers that's so exciting time, so and, exciting and then we're going to go through 12 different tutorials um, each month um, and one that you can do along with me or you can just read it to um, educate yourself on and how to create florals in different with different mm. containers and different flowers and we'll learn a little bit about some different flowers and um, I'm hoping it's really beautiful and that everybody enjoys oh, I'm sure the pros as well mm-hmm. so oh, I'm working hard I'm on so it. So it sounds like it's going to be it. very practical which I know mm-hmm. it will be if you're writing it it's not just going to be a beautiful read but very practical advice on how mm-hmm. you uh, put these uh, combine these flowers to make beautiful arrangements. So I'm very excited about it. And Yvonne. Yes. The book (laughs) that's taking forever. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I'm also writing a book. um, And it's called, the working title is The Little Things. And it's little things that you can do around your home to make your home beautiful. Mm. Oh, I love. And yeah, lots. It's Mm going to be, I am such a tip person. So it's going to have tons of tips and ideas that you can practically use that are doable to make a beautiful home without like um, buying tons of new furniture and things like that. Oh, that yeah. sounds awesome. I'm so excited totally about that. A... And Yvonne, I feel like that's really your thing too, is what you bring to the table is how uh, somebody can just incorporate some small elements to a room and give mm-hmm. it a new life. Well, you betcha there's a, a chapter on vignettes and pillows. Of, well, I knew yeah, that. Definitely. Mantles, probably. Well, well yes, actually there <laughs> is. <laughs> and just wait, little ways that you can do, little changes you can make, little ways you can do things. And I'm also incorporating in that book some easy home DIYs because I get asked all the time about my um, hooks, plate hooks. They're literally plates that have hooks on them mm-hmm. that I keep my aprons on and I'm going to be doing that for the book oh and oh, when will be yours be ready well <laughs> T- <laughs> tba to be announced or to tbd announced. to be determined yeah yes. um so i don't doubt get, it's going to be out for by christmas but we're hoping so okay but th- you, there we'll, you go we'll, but stay in tune because yvonne's going to come here and tell us when it's going to be ready so that's this, exactly right this is where we're going <laughs> to announce it first okay oh absolutely go ahead
clean out your closet. Then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor. And I can really recommend their ultra stretch super wide leg pant at $49.90. The price is unbeatable and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well. And we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And that deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So, okay, and, so uh, talking about announcing books, we have an announcement about um, oh, our book giveaway. Yes, thank you for that setup, Kelly. Sure, we, we had <laughs> two. <laughs> I'm excited have, to tell the girls who yay. won. So we have two winners of my book, and I'm going to be sending it to them, assuming they send me their uh, mailing address. But we have we've had a giveaway for people leaving reviews on. On iTunes, so we have two people that are our winners. We have three books we're giving away, and we already have two winners: Laura Lasky. Woo, Le- Laura! Yay, Laura. Laura! Thank Laura. you. Thank you so much for your beautiful email. Yes. I know I, I let you know that in a responding email, but if you're listening today, thank you so much for the kind things you said and for listening and for your iTunes review. It means so much to us. And congratulations, and just, you Yes, and just thank you to everybody yes. who's I left know. email messages on our on our email and phone messages and messages on all of our blogs and, and yes. who has subscribed, rated, oh. and reviewed us. Oh, keep keep doing that. We appreciate that. And oh, the, the second voicemails person- are great too. Pam and Vicky and a few other ladies left us uh, voicemails, and we just mm-hmm. listened to them over and over again. Thank I you. know they were just such a so touching for me, and I hope we can find a way to uh, play those on our on a future. Yeah, episode. we got to figure I think that we're out. We're coming oh. up with one. Yep. Right. Oh, so the second? Did I say who the second winner was? No, oh, no, no. We got so involved with the first one. It's, <laughs> it's, Le- it's Lisa Hoyt. So yay, yeah. yeah. yeah, Lisa. Lisa! Thank yeah, Lisa. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I will enjoyed be your email too. <laughs> So we'll be emailing both of you and uh, getting your address so we can mail your your books to you. And can I just say, we have Mm -hmm. a few more books that we didn't cover, so we'll leave those on the show notes as well. Oh, yeah, good point. Yes, because we love books. So... Mm -hmm. Well, it's and when been... you're stacking them, you need at least three, don't you think, 
<laughs> and really, it's good if the spines kind of go together. So if you can, <laughs> that's how you buy your books. <laughs> Sometimes, oh not these, not the ones I talked about today, but vintage okay. books for sure. I'm, oh. look, I'm all about the spine and the size. <laughs> oh, this was so fun. It was. So it was. And all these books that we talk about, we highly endorse and we just love them dearly. And so we hope you'll love them too. That's right. So remember, we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey there. If you're loving our podcast like we're loving our podcast, we would love you to rate and review us. Head to iTunes to do that. It's easy and it would mean so much to us. And if you do rate and review us, we're going to enter you to win a fantastic giveaway. The details are for the giveaway are in the show notes for this episode and you can find the show notes at decoratingtipsandtricks.com.